Hey guys, uh, welcome to the show and uh, in today's episode I have an awesome guest. His name is uh, Rashesh Bausa. Uh, Rashesh, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Raghu. Uh, thank you for uh, having me here. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, Rashesh, uh, where are you located? I'm based in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, fantastic. All the way in Australia. Wow. Yes, uh, lucky country. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, so how many years have you been there? It's been almost my half-life here. Uh, I came here 2001 mm -hmm. and it's been 19 years now. Wow, fantastic. That's almost, yeah, uh, going to be 20 time, years now. <laughs> time, time, time flies. Well, yeah. So, so what do you do, uh, Rashesh? Um, Raku, I'm a financial advisor. Mm -hmm. um, um, so basically, we specialize in uh, maximizing the, you know, like what happens really, whatever everything we do, we, uh, we need proper planning. Mm -hmm. So I found my passion, you know, uh, that uh, because my whole family is in the banking and finance. Okay. So I found my passion and uh, realized that, you know, uh, I came here for Master of IT here. I mm -hmm. did Bachelor of Business in India, okay. and Master of IT. Mm -hmm. But uh, but you know, uh, eventually I realized that, you know, I'm the, you know, I'm the man of finance. Mm -hmm. So I specialized in financial planning, investment planning, tax planning, um, life insurance, which is personal insurance planning, mm -hmm. and estate plan for the professional families. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, fantastic. You, you seem to be doing a really big, awesome job uh, in uh, helping people there. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, you, you said you, you were there uh, doing half your life in financial planning or half your life in Melbourne, but uh, how many years have you been doing financial planning? Uh, from 2006. Okay. So almost 14 years now. 14 years. So how did you come into uh, this field? Yes. So, yes. Uh, so, um, yeah, I came here for, uh, I finished my Bachelor of Business in India. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my entire family in banking and finance. My father was a you know, uh, chief uh, uh, chief manager in the bank. Mm -hmm. All my uncles and cousins are in the bank. Okay. So always there's a natural, you know, uh, natural, uh, what is called, you can say, qualities of the family running mm -hmm. into my um, into my blood um uh, i then i did best of business and then i was from the in childhood i was helping my father in stock trading mm -hmm. so you know he, he, he so he was a big believer in the stock market okay so he used to invest in stocks i also used to you know like i um uh, join him and then you know i i found so much so much excited you know you analyze different businesses how the company does you know, and how you analyze the Oh, financial aspects. So that mm -hmm. really excited me. So I did bachelor of business in mm -hmm. India, major in finance. Okay. Then to, in 2000, IT IT was in you know you IT was in boom. So IT was really changing the, you know, uh, like um, uh, the whole industry. So I said so rather than doing MBA, I, I did BBA. Rather than doing MBA, I said why don't do uh, IT? Mm -hmm. uh, so you can combine management and uh, technology. So I did uh, one year course in India, IT course, uh, but I got visa so much uh, earlier for master degree here. So I broke the course. I got master of computer engineering in RMIT, mm -hmm. which is very good university in Melbourne. I did master in uh, engineering course, got very good marks, mm -hmm. but I realized that I like IT, but not I, I'm not passionate about the IT. Mm -hmm. So I like IT, but I can't build my career. And one year I was I was I was struggling what to do what to do. Uh, I compared accounting in US CPA Australia, uh, ICMA um, uh, in UK ICMA accounting CPA uh, USA. I compared all the accounting. But I, when while I was doing my bachelor of business, I realized that I'm not a, I don't like accounting, uh, but I love finance. Mm. So I, so then I found a very interesting course. First time I like I heard about financial planning. Okay. And, Australia is, um, is actually pioneer in financial planning. Mm. So in the world, mm -hmm. uh, only two countries are pioneer: UK and Australia. Mm. Australia financial planning is very, very you know what is called. They are leading in, the, uh, in this industry. So I found it. I go, I went through the subjects, and the subjects was investment planning, tax planning, superannuation. Uh, super is our retirement plan. Yeah. Mm. So what do you have in Singapore in for superannuation like? Have you got something similar? Yes. In yeah. So we had that one, uh, uh, insurance planning and uh, asset planning. So I said, 
it's so fantastic. You know, I love it. I, I had interest from the beginning uh, in my, you know, from my childhood about investment stock market. Hmm. Uh, but I said, it's, this is what I need, you know, and it's covering not only investment side, it's covering the whole 360 aspects. Okay. So that's why first person will be, you know, will be benef beneficial from these things is me. Yeah. Uh, so straight away, you know, I, without uh, telling my parents, I borrowed money from my friend. And I really do financial planning course. So mm -hmm. because I spent big money, my, my father invested big money on IT degree. Mm -hmm. and because they come from banking background, they're a bit conservative. Yeah. So yeah. They, they, if you change suddenly, they don't like it. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, without I borrowed money from my friend, room, my roommate. Wow. Uh, uh, his name is Asis Sa. So I borrowed money from him, <laughs> and then I started financial planning. And um, that was my starting point. Uh, I got uh, in. I, because of my passion, you know, it is my passion. I broke the record in the in the subjects, so I got 99 percent in all subjects. Wow, fantastic! There are eight subjects. You can see the on the top. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so starting this 98, 99, 98, 99 in all subjects. That was a record that time. Uh, and I worked. I didn't work that much hard, you know. Like, but that I realized there is my. But that I realized there is my natural strength. So when your natural strength, so, when, so I combine my uh, passion mm -hmm. and profession. Wow. Uh, and so, so, so I, I encourage everyone that uh, to, to combine your skill, make, his, uh, make it as a passion mm -hmm. and, and develop as a professor. So then you don't have to work hard. So Absolutely. I spend 12 Absolutely. hours per day, 15 hours per day in, you know, in, 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 you know, finding the, in doing research and something. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not a work. It's, it's my, it's my, it's my hobby. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, that is started. Um, and, uh, yeah, then I got a role in, so here is, in Australia is, is, is a, you know, to get a job, to, to get a professional job is a big challenge, mm -hmm. very big challenge. Mm. Uh, they value here. They value more about experience rather than degree. So okay, yeah. Compared to, compared to other Asian countries, India, yeah. Singapore might be um, uh, degree is more more well more weightage yeah. than experience. Like, no? you got master degree, no get in here to get in very hard. So because I didn't have any experience, yeah, in the financial planning, I, I even though I got good marks, so I got good marks, mm -hmm. very good marks. I got lots of interviews yeah. from agencies, mm -hmm. and then. Um, I registered about 60 to 80 agencies minimum. Wow. And interview that much. Hmm. And every time I got, I got cleared with clear <clears throat> in agency interview, I went to the company interview. And at the last moment, someone, you know, uh, not that as qualified, mm -hmm. but little experience here got, got the job all the okay. time. Uh, then finally, it got, the journey, you know, it took two, two, two months for me, and then finally I got a role uh, in the small company. Uh, I'm very thankful to that company, it's, uh, and um, um, and it's Upper Year is a company, and then uh, I got a role for eight months as a uh, as a para planner. Para planner means is a technical role. Hmm. Well, who do the research? Then after eight months, uh, I got a break in you know the the dream job. I got a break in wealth management role in. Colonial First State, which okay. is the biggest and best in uh, uh, in Australia, mm -hmm. uh, and yes, that was my breakthrough. Okay, uh, and uh, I worked there almost one year, nine months, and and what I used to do over there, our role was to create a strategy for advisors. The advisors, advisors meet with the uh, clients in the brand in the branch. Mm -hmm. they, they write the strategy, but to make it happen to implement the strategy is our problem all the number crunching okay i learned some i learned everything over there and i used to give feedback to my uh, advisors that if you i i do advisor scenario and i do my i create my scenario hmm. and i used to add so much value to the, to the advisor yeah and uh, and because of that um i got you know uh, lots of good feedback from advisors and i got promoted as a financial plan in the branch wow uh, I was managing three branches at that time, mm -hmm. uh, 10 years back, 2008 and mm -hmm. nine. Then uh, I realized that, okay, uh, I will not be, I will not get what I want in working in the bank. 
uh, because you are you are very limited to uh, you know uh, do something. So you need to focus on the products. You can't control the whole process. You can't give the best uh, uh, what you can offer mm-hmm. because while working with corporates, there's always you know a challenge. Uh, so I resigned um, in 2010 and I started my own business at the heart of GFC. Okay. Uh, Finance yeah. It was just uh, people were laughing at me. Yeah. Some people were concerned at me. My mm-hmm. friend said, I says, no, see, see, are you sure? Some, some people are laughing at me. I says, no, you're doing a big mistake. You know, people are losing money. There's life, there's blood in the, in the market industry. And you're starting. I said, if I, um, no, if I, no, uh, what is it called? Go through these things. Mm-hmm. And when I start the toughest time of the life, then the grass, grass is always greener after that. Yeah. Uh, and I had a very, uh, see, I did well in the in wealth management in the, in the when I was in the bank. So I know my, you know, I had a bit of confidence in me as well. Uh, and I started with the, my, my, my first three, four friends who, who were my very close friends. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have the right intentions, God will help you. So my so when I resigned, my 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 first three, uh, my my first three uh, roommates, who, you know, they required my they they were looking for advice, mm-hmm. and uh, they went to bank actually, okay. so they went to they went to bank uh, for advice. And what happened? Sometimes what happened as a friend, there's a bit of you know reservation that you know you don't want to disclose everything to your friend. Mm. So then in the beginning yes, but then. Um, they went to bank and then said, and one of my friends said, why don't you give it a go to assess? No. So he came to me, I went, and then I went to the, and he realized that now assess advice is quite different than what we get from the bank. Yeah. And, and then he told my other two friends, mm-hmm. we are all in the one group. Okay. And, uh, and then I got three, three, first three, which is really required okay. you know, uh, <laughs> uh, in the beginning. So that, that helped me a lot. Uh, that gave me conf- you know, like a boost again, and then I st- then I just I was I, I had a uh, I was following how, how system okay I uh, choose only these clients uh, professional families uh, and who need the who need, who need me the most and I was my meeting normally if you go to ba- if you go to bank they will spend you half an hour forty five minutes mm-hmm. I spend four hours with the client three to four hours minimum. Okay, so that is my you know, and and I go through much deeper than financial planning. Like like I understand the needs, understand the uh, pain points, what they really you know care about. No, not just me. Not I don't think I they, okay. Oh, these are the products here. You know, like I don't present that way. I really understand. You no, know, that like what is most important to them. Mm. What, what keeps them awake in the night. You know, and then I and then I. Create the strategy, not just oh we have these things and this is the best for you. Um, yep, and all my all my clients are very good friends of mine. We started getting three, four, five clients, and I got lots of word of mouth referral. So I never advertise, uh, you know, uh, in my business. Uh, all my all quality clients, I many head of Australia, senior level. So I mean, you know, my my niece is uh, senior executives mm-hmm. in eight hundred companies. So all the Top level management, middle level management um, in IT and finance uh, industry. Uh, it is my niche. So uh, they they all work in CBD, in Melbourne CBD, my office in CBD. They all are similar my age. Seventy percent, thirty percent are Indians uh, because they are IT in IT. There are lots of Indians mm-hmm. uh, IT and finance. Now we're going to doctors as well. So we now uh, now we have become preferred uh, preferred uh, advisor for doctors. Fantastic. So yeah. It's a new is a new era. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, 30% Australians. So mm-hmm. Australian. Um, yeah. Uh, that's number of things. Age wise, 35 to 40, 30 to 30 to 45. So something similar to my age. Mm-hmm. Wealth accumulators. So we are planning for the future. Wealth creation is the focus. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, uh, it's been now you no, know, I built like what then we got a like what is called. Uh, I've been because of see when you have when you got when you have burning desire, nature will come to like, the, the natural resources, natural so uh, power will help you. Like, uh, we, we yeah. Sometimes it's a god, sometimes it's a natural power. Um, no, uh, it comes to you. So, uh, 2011, I had an opportunity to 
uh, represent industry to finance minister of Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, that was a big, uh, big breakthrough. Yeah. I uh, met him for half an hour, he and his advisors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I prepared a uh, four page agenda what government is doing for Australian families, how we can improve the financial literacy. Mm-hmm. Of, uh, because we don't have financial literacy here very high. Okay. The average Australian family, uh, they still lack the skills. You know? mm-hmm. Because we don't get learned from school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, he took very seriously that agenda. He, you know, he gave me, you know, feedback and they, he implemented, implemented the few, uh, a few of the suggestions we did. Fantastic. Then uh, I met with my, my favorite prime minister advice, John Howard. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, then, then, you know, then um, in 2013, the ABC 24, which is the national news channel of government, uh, ABC 24, they come to us to feature uh, to as an expert in the expert in the you know area. So they you know that was uh, the you no know, uh, very proud moment. That out of fifteen thousand advisors, twenty thousand advisors in Melbourne, there are at least 10, 15 thousand advisors in Melbourne, and we got a chance. So that was very you know, uh, yeah, you know very. Yeah. Uh, uh, humble awesome. uh, and um, yes after that you know i just uh, then we then, then uh, we i was one of the first indian speaker indian advisor to be on panel speaker mm-hmm. on investment expo we had a big we, we had an annual big expo an investment expo in melbourne mm-hmm. at the big you now uh, uh, exhibition and exhibition center mm-hmm. so i was panel speaker there uh, and uh, yeah so Jenny started when you when you really focus when you really have you know what is called burning desire. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know you got the opportunity. Sometimes you it comes to you. You don't have to find it. Just uh, and then yeah, I, I I got I I asked my clients. You no know, best way to you know like you know, I don't advertise any. You know, and all my clients you know supported me very well. So because you if you have a niche market that you can, then you can't advertise and you can get any client. So uh, uh, I took referral from my clients only. So, and the clients, uh, no, I'm very thankful to them. They, you know, they, they trusted me for their own financial planning. Also, they helped me to grow my business. Fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's an awesome, uh, you know, story that you have of how you came, uh, you had to borrow money to <laughs> start off and uh, you had that burning desire that's really awesome so uh, as you went along of course uh, uh, you have been so many years uh, in this field and initially when you started out you know you did face a lot of setbacks yes. right so there, there was a lot of uh, setbacks that you faced so how did you overcome that so what was uh, uh, really driving you to overcome that Okay, so uh, the biggest setback I didn't tell you yet. The biggest setback I had is 2007 mm-hmm. in global financial crisis. So I, I was a very active investor in stock market, and I invested big money in stock market okay. before GFC. Yeah. So I lost actually big money. I lost I, I, I lost significant amount of money uh, in 2007 mm-hmm. in, in the GFC. Okay. So um, it was it was a very high figure, that, and it, that figure means you know probably I know it's significant. Hmm. Any person will 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 give up, you no? Know, that okay, mm-hmm. I you know that's you know that's become bankrupt and then forget it, you know. Mm-hmm. That uh, because here after seven years you can start again. Yeah. But I I, I that was big spec, uh, biggest setback I had okay. because it was my I was twenty seven year old young blood and um, I was doing very well before you know in in, in investment mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then no no one knew that the FC is coming. So I invested very heavy money, mm-hmm. and not my own, not my money is bank's money. Mm-hmm. So I need to need to pay back, and uh, that experience. You know, so after that money gone, I had no choice. Okay, now two choice only. Either you give up, or either you, you know, you, there's a there's in, you know, in India there's a we say, you know, now maro ya maro, you know, like you know you kar ya par. Yeah. So. You uh, do or die. <laughs> do or die. Do or die. Yes. Yeah. Do or die. So I think that <laughs> that was really factor that now because I always have big, big uh, aspirations. Like I want to be always have a, I know, um, no, 
good entrepreneur, good advisor. I want to start a you know, good. I always wanted to have that aspirations. So, um, f- I think what really helped me is I think the belief in the belief mm-hmm. uh, that that uh, you know that I will go through this and then I will, you know, I will face this and I will. And I think that, that I think that somehow I that I had that you no know, belief system. Mm-hmm. It made what is fine is tough time there, but if you do the right thing uh, and hard work. There's no substitute for the hard work. Doesn't matter. So intelligence will help you. All the skills will help you, mm-hmm. but without hard work, it's not that. You know, like you need a, like you know that these are the complementary skills. IQ uh, above average IQ. These are these these are the blessings. But if you don't do hard work, no point. Yeah. You know, you, it 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 does it, it's of no use. Mm-hmm. So I worked very hard with and of course you know with uh, all the other skills. Um, it really helped me. But yeah, it's always a strong belief and uh, confidence. You know, belief, you know, and so I think if you, whenever you have, a, when you have a negative moment in of your life, mm-hmm. just think about that. You know, like of course, you know, think about the what, what was the last time you had a, you had a challenge in the past, mm-hmm. and, and, and how did you overcome? You know, uh, of course, every everyone has a challenge in their life, whether it's two year old boy, yes. five year old boy, or you no, know, yeah. or. or College, college student, you no know, ten students, or big businessmen, or small. Everyone has challenges, but always remember: okay, what are what are your strengths and what are your weakness? Never play your weakness. Always play your strength. So, mm-hmm. first thing you understand that: okay, if you if you have weakness in 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 particular area, then don't do, don't go on that side. Try to improve that weakness, mm-hmm. but don't overconfident. Okay, I'll I'll uh, no, I'll do business on that side. So I know my weaknesses. I know my strengths. So. I know based on my stance and I know it's okay. That's fine. No, no, this time will go. And my my wife was very very supportive for me. My wife. Mm-hmm. So another reason, you know, uh, support from your uh, your life partner, that is a no really place. Mm-hmm. And she yeah. really uh, believe in me. Uh, and we had a tough time, but yeah, but we 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 passed through all this. Fantastic, fantastic. So. Um... What have you been doing during during this uh, lockdown and crisis period? So which period? In this uh, lockdown period. So yes, lockdown period actually, you know, is really interesting time lockdown. You know, mm-hmm. it gave me the it gave me the break I really wanted. Okay. Uh, um, and and everyone is quite down. You have no choice to go out. You know, uh, it almost two two months, two mm-hmm. and a half months, and really focused on my biz- my strategy of my business. Okay. Like where I where. Uh, because it is 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 it's sudden. No, no one expected. Yeah. And my business, my business was always face to face. Always, I always face to face. I never had a client without meeting me at mm-hmm. the moment. Like, but because of this, you know, I realized the value of technology. Mm-hmm. I realized the value of uh, system and process. Mm-hmm. I realized the value of you know uh, delegating the work, and um, so that first two, I literally spent sixteen hours per day. Every day, and mm-hmm. so I, and I, I hardly have any break actually. I overwork it, <laughs> you know, in this break. Uh, but I, I, I clear my vision, you know, that okay, uh, how my game, uh, how my business going to scale it, what, 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 what I can add more to my clients now, you know, how you connect more without you losing your efficiency. Mm. So I found, I found the people's problems. I, you know, I, I talk to my clients, you know, and find out how, how they. Know what they want. Mm-hmm. I got the feedback, and um, I I I systemize my business now. I systemize my process. That now every client we do Zoom meeting first. Every yeah, client. fantastic. Now, mm. Like this, you know, with, um, with uh, now even without COVID, now one we still do Zoom meeting first. You no, know? mm. and uh, we now uh, we contact. You know, we touch them with you know, regular basis. Mm-hmm. So rather than typical financial planning is once a year. You meet once a year. Yeah. Uh, typical financial planning in Australia that you meet annual. It's called annual review. Mm-hmm. But now we are, we are very proactive on that side, mm-hmm. and we try to touch our clients once a month. Wow, that's good. Uh, we have we have we have groups in LinkedIn. We have groups on WhatsApp, and we constantly deliver high value content. Mm-hmm. So, and we update them regular basis, but mm-hmm. but not any information is a is a, is a relevant content. Okay. And, um, 
Yes, and just try to and get feedback from clients. You know? So don't just assume that what that you are doing the right thing all the time. Sometimes sometimes you might be uh, sidetracked. Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, I think work with your most um, work with the clients who you like to have going forward. Mm -hmm. And if you think of oh, you got some like let's say you got hundred clients and then you're not active with 30, 40 clients, then then review them that you they really they really need you or not. Uh, if you can't add value to the clients, so I think it's better better to say you no, know, uh, to you know, make, you know uh, 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 guide them and say okay, you can come back in the future. But I don't think so now. I can add more value. So if you can't add more value, don't don't keep the client list. Uh, you yeah. know, and then and replace with the replace with the clients who really can help me, who you really can help them. Mm. So if you if you don't let's say if you are say if you have a if you are you know, what is called selling restaurant. You want to have people who are really hungry. Yeah. If you if they are already full, then then no, they can no, then you can fill the table with the hungry people. No. So, but educate educate people uh, uh, first, and let them make decisions. Fantastic! Awesome! Awesome! I like that. So, uh, Rajesh, what's your vision for the future? I think vision for the future is definitely. Uh, more proactive uh, two-way two-way consultative approach with the clients. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be like one way. That advisor tells everything, and clients will take everything. Mm -hmm. Like there always be two-way collaborative approach. Mm -hmm. So it's you know, like you work with the clients proactively, and you ask them constant feedback, and you fit and you find your 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 service offerings. And, and and every client is different, so you need to be uh, make sure that you know uh, you don't offer cookie cookie cutter approach to everyone, mm -hmm. uh, and help them. Uh, so technology is definitely big. Technology is a big player, so you can't ignore the technology. If mm -hmm. you ignore the technology, then you, then you are. I think it's very challenging for you to sustain in the business. Yeah. Uh, first, so first you can you create community of people. You just give free free education to everyone. So that's a massive building community that you don't expect to become the client just help them like over the like maybe video or maybe uh, you know blog or something but just make oh you know, like so uh, spread your knowledge don't don't this is not the world that you don't you keep everything in your you know in your hand and you don't open it this open everything what you have and help them and they will come you know, and, and people who need you they will come to you mm -hmm. uh, the technology System and process, so make sure that you know you have the right CRM, right tech, you know platforms to make it systemized, uh, and um, and do one thing very well. Rather than doing ten things, uh, rather than becoming jack of all, yeah, have a little bit of knowledge of all, but do one thing very well that no one can replace it. Because because of technology, is is technology is two way, two way sword. It can work against you, it can work for you. So. Uh, if you do a very basic level job, you will be replaced very fast. So if you just so don't yeah. try to become a don't wider, go deeper. Hmm. Once you go deeper, and once you think now you are deep enough that you can't go deeper anymore, then you go wider. Rather than rather than for the newcomers, so hmm. or the for the new advisors, I you know, I definitely recommend that don't uh, try to become everything to everyone. You know, don't like you know, so. If so, what I someone ask you, what do you do? Oh, I'm a financial advisor. That's that's not a uh, answer. So answer should be that I help, I work with uh, professional families uh, between age of 30, 30 uh, 45 who are time poor uh, uh, and uh, who want, who want to you know uh, what is called plan for the future and this, uh, this is the advice. Like very specific. Like for me is yeah. you know uh, like senior executives corporate executives between this month. So I, if it's something, of course, that doesn't mean you don't work with other people. So if someone, if, if, if like, uh, if some other, yes, you help them, but your focus will be always, you know, what is called, uh, you know, uh, that. So your client base should be 90% of your niche market. Five, 10% is, it can be anyone, but don't, people, okay, if people need to be remembered, okay, uh, uh, if I'm, a, if I'm an IT, and I'm um, between 35 years, yeah. then he should think, okay, this is my right person for me. So 
So yes, that's important. And a constant, constant learning, constant, constant learning, constant innovation. Just, just improve one person day by day. If you, if you can improve one person every day, one person every day, uh, in one year time, uh, you will be totally different, different person, and you will bypass the competitors. So it's a, it's a slow and steady game. Uh, at least spend one hour of your time of day, half an hour, one hour day. Mm -hmm. uh, that you can you can focus on business, not in business. So the biggest now I think um, um, hindrance to our growth is ourselves. We sometimes spend so much time on the you know, on the in the business that mm -hmm. oh client files these files you know, but we don't focus. Okay, how could I do it better way? So work on the business. At least spend one hour per day. If not, if if you can't spend more, I spend I spend normally two to three hours per day now on on the business. Mm -hmm. So I, is how to improve the business, how to build contacts, how to you know uh, learn something new, how how you can add more value to your clients, uh, and without without increasing so much cost. So just become just try to become irreplaceable. You know, that even your enemy will come to you. That's the goal. Yeah. See, even even if your enemy, you know, he he's supposed to come to you like that way. I think uh, three things that were very important that you said was one is uh, you have a niche, right? Uh, that you need to work with and you need to be very specific. The second thing that you told was, um, you know, educate this uh, community. And uh, the third thing, of course, go deeper rather than going wider and have one single area of mastery that you want to be well known for. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, Rashesh, uh, of course, the um, future is going to be different because uh, the economy has changed, uh, the marketplace has changed. So there's going to be a lot of challenges that's going to come up in the future. So how yes. are you geared up to meet those challenges as you rapidly grow your business? Yes, so there are definitely good challenges. And challenges, is, challenges means is new opportunities. Hmm. So if you adopt the challenges, you will grow. If you can't change yourself, then you will, you will be in state. So uh, is challenges are not a problem. The mm. challenges are actually the opportunities. Uh, and if you early enough, if you if you proactive, if you recognize the challenges and you or you adopt it, you have a massive advantage. Mm. So I think the financial planning, the biggest, I think biggest giveaway of this interview is don't become a product seller. Yeah. Don't product. Don't don't discuss the product with your clients. If you want, if you ask one thing from me, okay, you know what, what, what don't discuss the product. Don't compare the product. Don't, don't talk, don't, when you talk to a client, don't even show the product at all. Mm -hmm. you know, these are the, you know, these are the products. These are the platform fund managers. These are the, you no, know? that time is gone. You know, uh, always become a problem solver. So I think number one giveaway, I say that, you know, Go deeper, spend two hours, three hours with the clients, understand, you, know, you need to become some bit of psychologist, <laughs> you know, that, that, that what really makes them away uh, uh, and, you know, and what the real priorities are, like the priorities are not money, money is no one, money, money is a tool, it's not a, no one wants money, like, like no one say, okay, I need money, people have dreams, so money can fulfill the dreams. But you, you don't sleep there, oh, I need $1 million. You sleep there, okay, I want to, uh, I have a, no, what is called? I can have a, uh, I can spend time with family. No, I, I should have enough money to spend time with family. Spend time with family is your dream. I can work part time, I spend, I want to grow my kids. No, I can, uh, I want to travel with my family. I want to start my own business. Uh, that are the dreams. And money will help you to achieve that dreams, but money itself is, has no no significance, in my opinion. It's just number in the bank. So you do, if you understand that dreams and that goals of the client, mm -hmm. and, and and if you work around the dreams and goals and how you're going to achieve them mm -hmm. with the right strategy, right strategy, not the products, the strategy. You don't discuss in products. And, the, and, and, and 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 I guarantee you that no that uh, that client will stay for life life for you. Wow, so fantastic! You're not comparing the you're not comparing the performance. You're not comparing the uh, you know uh, features. No, that's a uh, no one wants the feature performance. When you when you go to dentist, what do you want? 
do you want to do you want to learn about okay what tools they're using what what kind of knife they're using what tools they're using no or what, what kind of material they're using no what do you want to put in? please take pain out of my my heart or you no know? and make sure my my teeth are healthy i can keep longer you know that you want the outcome you don't want to understand that you know in and out of that things so as a financial planner i think new advisors or even expert advisors they focus on that in you know the details oh we have the best product we have the best things and have no interest on that one client so only want to yeah i think you're given a great advice uh, to all the financial um, advisors uh, and planners and especially for the newcomers that's really very insightful and um, yeah so uh, with that being said uh, if somebody wants your services how they can contact you okay so we have a we can now see that again with this covid 19 i started the new new stuff now so previously mm -hmm. i used to they used to call our office number and then we contact them and then we contact them and we use email what time you want and all those things so that's the first way now i don't do that mm -hmm. so now i use calendly so calendly is a very yeah. powerful tool calendar yeah and calendly yeah Calendly and just yes, no. Uh, whenever someone contact us, I call them. Of course, we discuss them, but we send them a calendar link and mm -hmm. then they can book it up. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. It's now they are booking an appointment with you rather than you are trying to book. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, uh, they can contact you through. Um, you know, you got a website. You got yeah, website, website, and. of course they can call us so website call us linkedin they mm -hmm. contact me on linkedin as well mm -hmm. we are very active on linkedin okay and uh, we are the live examples you know you found me on linkedin yeah uh, <laughs> absolutely so, you know, so, no yeah linkedin is very powerful so as an advisor of course you need to be uh, there are many um, social media facebook mm -hmm. twitter instagram and linkedin and youtube the five major things i think if you want to start something you know LinkedIn is the first. LinkedIn is the gold mine. I used to tell my all friends and my clients that LinkedIn is the gold mine. Don't ignore that. I use LinkedIn from last nine years, mm -hmm. and I'm a premium member from nine years. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do Facebook. Some I do Facebook sometimes, sometimes not. But Facebook is uh, Facebook is a massive marketing. So if you got a something, if you got a like different kind of business, like a food food business or clothing business, like product business, then Facebook is a good. Uh, but if you but but for serious business like us, like financial planning, I think LinkedIn um, has no comparison. And and, wow. I, and and one thing I advise you for new, newcomers that uh, who they want to work with after they after they find out the niche market, to create the community in the in the LinkedIn in the so LinkedIn group. And and so you, so you can take financial planning for let's say engineers, financial planning for doctors, financial, and then you invite them. Uh, you create your own group, and then you invite you you invite that your your you know, your target market. You make them, of course, connection first, and then after after the permission, you invite them to group, and then then you create a community, and and you add value constantly on that group, uh, and 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 you will see the magic. You know, they will. Continue. Fantastic advice, fantastic. And uh, there's so uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you. as you rapidly grow your business so uh, uh how, do you have a team that is in place uh, to take care of your clients a uh, team means process no a team a team of people with team, you team, team, team yes so currently now we expanding now so uh, now we have hired what is called two people um uh, in in uh, in philippines actually mm -hmm. uh, uh so we are, so um uh, so let's all see how so you can scale faster with australia um is that everything is very slow and expensive so the client facing roles will keep here client facing roles will keep here uh, but all the admin processes all that mean will be outsourced to philippines okay. and, very, and and we don't use any outsourcing company we use the highly trusted company which already using it people so we got references for that company and then we going to use that one yes so fair yeah. so of course is technology and people um uh, we you need both to leverage fast fantastic fantastic um rajesh it was great talking to you uh, you have an awesome vision and as you uh, growing your business rapidly uh, you know you, and you have given a lot of insights to uh, uh, 
and a lot of wisdom there for the newcomers as well. And uh, your story of how uh, you came into uh, becoming a financial advisor is really awesome. It's an inspiration to all the uh, youngsters who are going to come in as well as for the other people and all of us. So uh, I wish you all the very best uh, to you in the future. And Thank uh, you, keep, uh, keep doing that awesome work and uh, keep uh, rocking and uh, making a difference in people's lives. And uh, do keep in touch, Rajesh. Sure, definitely. Go on.